Hello YouTubers, today I just want to show you how to pack a kite. This is going to be the first video of many, which uh, we're going to take a tour around Rotterdam. And I'm going to show you how to buy various uh, packs of tobacco for your pipe. Um, show you what's available within Rotterdam. Where to buy some fantastic pipes. And show you the social networking site within Rotterdam of where you can smoke. Uh, now I had already tried to do a video before, a couple of minutes ago, and unfortunately the sun went out. So I've already lit this pipe and packed it. So I'm actually going to show you in another pipe, which is my Mirstrom, which is actually probably better because the hole was a lot bigger. So I can show you basically a little bit better. Okay. Of course, as you understand, I'm not going to be liking this one because I already have a uh, pipe lit. What of course you need is a pack of tobacco, which I have here. Now there are many methods on how to pack a pipe. Basically what I'm going to show you is the standard pinch method, which is the one which most people will use. Uh, I'll be quite plain and honest, I personally never use it. I tend to scoop the tobacco up in the bag because well, when you're walking around it's slightly easier. But since this is the beginner's guide, we're going to do it the beginner's way. And basically, all you do is you take a pinch of tobacco, hold it over your bag, and just let it fall on the pipe. Take another pinch, put it in the bowl, and which is slightly harder, not too hard, but slightly. And the last pinch. Where you're going to use a little bit more force and push it down. That's it basically. Now, uh, before you smoke, Check that the airway uh, in your pipe is clear because you can either, one or the other, pack it too hard or pack it too loosely. Both ways are not great. So now we're basically ready to light the pipe, which I'm going to show you on this pipe. So when you light a pipe, you can either use a lighter or a box of matches. When I'm at home, I prefer to use a box of matches. Um, I can understand that outside it's a little bit difficult to light a pipe with matches. I've been trying for years and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Make sure you burn the sulfur off and you're just going to go around the bowl. I take little drawers in. Now at this point, what's going to happen is your tobacco is going to fluff up around the bowl. So that's where one of these tools come in handy. It's called a tamper. And we're going to tamp down. And basically, that flatters the tobacco pushes the tobacco down into the bowl and levels it out. So now we're ready to relight it. 
Because at that point, your pipe will probably go out. Now at this point, we're good to go. Now sometimes, one of the problems will be uh, not necessarily on the straight pipe, but sometimes on the bent one, you'll get a gurgling sound, and that just means you're smoking it a little bit too wet. So you're going to need a pipe cleaner. But up until I smoked pipes, I always thought these things were for children's nurseries, and you could make stuff with them. Well, this one's a lot drier. These tools are quite important. You can get a handful of them at your tobacco net. But they're also a thing which will clean your pipe at the end. In order to clean your pipe, that's quite easy. Let's say this was a briar pipe, the same material as this. You let it cool down, you break the pipe apart, like that, you're going to run your pipe cleaner into your stem, that's clean, and into your shank of the pipe. Pour over, clean the inside the bowl, and put it back together again. That's ready to use the next time. So, as I said, in the next videos, what we'll be doing is we'll be going into places and go to them and have a look at the various places that you can buy tobacco and also what type of tobacco you can get because uh, with pipes of course there are so many different sorts of tobacco you have flakes, you have drugstore tobacco you have tobacco that you can blend yourself you have cakes which you need to cut and that's where things get a little bit more difficult, a little bit more complicated. Um, so I'll be showing you basically how uh, to do that. Uh, also various pipes which you can buy. What makes a good pipe. How to clean them. Um, at the moment I'm working on a few pipes myself which I carved. Uh, and hopefully I'll show you uh, some of the processes which go into also making a pipe. So, I hope you enjoyed this little video. This is my introduction video. And in time we'll be doing more.